Hello everyone and welcome back to Me Desire. I'm sitting in the absolutely beautiful harsh garden listening to the songs they have. They have some interesting um, sounds coming from them and this environment is super harsh with the wind and the waves but these beautiful plants somehow manage to thrive here and oh, I just I love them so much. These purple ones and these pink ones are definitely favourites. They are so pretty and they remind me of crystal clusters. Okay, so I needed to get some Karoka oil, uh, some Karoka, which I think I've gotten. Okay, this garden made me feel all jangly. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? Good job I'm only writing it down. So I should have... Do I have some Karoka? Karoka soap. Or oh, sap. Milky sap from the succulent Karoka. Often used directly as a moisturizer or added to oil for bars um, an application to hair and fur. I think that's what she needed me to get. Um, Eileen, that is. So, I'm gonna leave this gorgeous garden behind. I don't want to. I love it. The color palette is gorgeous. I don't want to leave it, but I have to. And I need to go give Eileen the Karoka sap, I believe. Hey, Claire. She's always looking so happy. Uh, wait, no, up. Oh, well, we can just go this way. Oh, Nui's here. I suppose it could be too much too soon, but... Kai, how's the gardening? Oh, I feel bad. It's like I interrupted. I want to apologize. Sorry to interrupt me. No worries. Ah, you've got the Kuroka. I can smell it. Lovely woody scent. Thank you. I'm run off my feet until this evening, but I'd love to take a look at the garden. I think you'd really like it, Eileen. It's beautiful. Why don't you meet me by the lighthouse this evening? Show me your hard work. Of course. You're such a star. I'll see you later. Okay. Oh, okay, so she's now here with... Um, Claire? Nothing too much. I just want to feel fresher. Any particular plans? Just so I know where we're aiming. I might go to the bar tonight. Lovely. We don't see you there. Uh, we don't often see you there. Well, I like to leave tongue some space, you know. Grove's back tomorrow, right? I keep forgetting that Claire's tongue's mum. <laughs> Have you worked out what you're going to? No. I don't know. Thought makes me sick. I thought having a father for my kid... Oh, I thought I wanted a father for my kid, but I don't want to disappear in the process. When Gorm left, I felt like I was drowning. Tongue was the only reason I hung on. But after a while, I realised I'd been sad for so long before that. I wish I'd seen it like you have. Come on now, we've got to talk about something cheerier. Um, I'm reading a really good crime novel at the moment. Okay. Um, Kuroka is super, uh, Kuroka is super sticky. Smells nice and woody though. I guess I can see why it makes a nice bath oil. Try and not forget to show Eileen the garden this evening. Should I check in with Mew about this boat trip? Probably I should check in with Mew about this boat trip. Wonder how Grandpa's reunion with Yoki's going. Okay. Oh, the dots are out. Can I talk to you guys? Oh, he's playing with a beetle. I want to talk to you. Nit nit. <laughs> he looks so happy. Tick do. Nee. Oh, 
นับนิเนทิกบับจับโอเค and look over here everyone's gathered around hmm take all the time you want I know exactly what you're going to do I won't be distracted by your smack talk I can't believe it mighty fine sight Out and about after all this time. I'm old, not deaf, Maury. It's a miracle. <laughs> as much as I love a bit of hyperbole, I'm trying to concentrate. It's a real tonic to see you boys reunited. Honestly, I didn't die. And while I appreciate your kind welcome. All I want right now is for my friend Yogi here to finally make the move I know he's going to make. There. Go on, say it. Okay, that was unexpected. Yes. <laughs> Check. Ah. Uh, that's throwing you. Hmm. We should find a way to celebrate. Let's work something out when you and Mew come for dinner tomorrow evening. Hush, the lot of you. Go on, own up. I've got you, haven't I? Hey, Nono. Any favorite songs we can add to the set tomorrow? Uh. There's no shame, you know. Just give that king a little knock. Honestly, I'd forgotten what those two were like. Okay, interesting things going on. Anything in the journal? Yoki seemed so stoked to see him again. Quite sweet, really. Should check in with Mew. Oh yeah. Um, would she be up in her house? Maybe. I'll check, and I guess I can check on the garden up here too. How's that going? Everything seems good. Maybe some plants are a little old. I'm gonna leave it be for now. It seems fine. <laughs> Hi, Mew. Oh, your house is so pretty. Kai. Oh man, I made a decision. Claire's coming to the bar tonight. It's perfect. Oh, this painting's really pretty. You gotta come. Don't ask me why now. Just come tonight. It's going to be incredible. Like a movie. I just got a copy of tape. Okay. A tape of what? You gotta wait. But it's you. You helped me see. Life is too short. Uh, good. I'll need to borrow his tape deck, but I'm sure I can get on the boat without him seeing. Hunter's feet gotta be good for something. What are you up to, Mew? Yeah, this is going to be great. Make sure you come along this evening. Okay. Well, it's evening now. I think I have to go see Eileen. Yep, need to show Eileen the lighthouse garden. Uh. Mew was 100% stoked about doing something in the bar tonight. Need to go along if only to discover that. Uh, what? Tell Grandpa about the lighthouse garden. Oh, so much to do, so much to do. I think Grandpa is back at home now, so we can talk to him about the lighthouse garden. Hey, Nono. Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. The Wanderer Returns. You've been the one wandering today. Indeed, I've been out in the daylight. I'm the cleanest I've been for weeks. I was able to see my dear friend Yoki, and I let him think he beat me at chess. Uh huh. We have a lot to be grateful for. Not the le not least the new life you've brought into the world. The garden by the lighthouse was a success then.
You said you'd tell me more when you were better. Well, you're better, aren't you? So, tell me. What is the weird plant magic about? I'm sure you're phrasing it so brashly because you wish to shock me into a... a quiescence? Never seen that word before. I didn't even know what a a qu- quiescence means. Dear girl. Don't call me girl. I'm not here just to be some gardener or whatever. What are you here for then? Oh, I'm gonna escalate. <laughs> to see if you really were worth running away from. Whoa! Whoa! I wanted to escalate. I wasn't expecting it to go there. Ouch. And your conclusion? Ooh, I'm gonna stay quiet. <laughs> Drama. Today I saw some dots in the square. I'm sure my friend the dot shaman sent them down to check on me. I thought I was feeling better. But after today's exertions, I find myself a little lightheaded. I feel that way after socialising. I'm not in the mood to speak with you further. Oh, screw you! <laughs> I suggest you go and clear your head. I mean, we did kind of lash out, but like, dude, you're being so cryptic and everything. Um, Lost my temper. I'm awful. Everything is awful. Yeah, well, Grandpa ain't a saint either. Like, he's just running around getting me to do all this random stuff and won't even tell me why. Dear girl. Oh, Another person called me girl. So nice of you to say hello. I've had such a whirlwind of a day. Almost like old times, you know? Although it has meant that I have somewhat neglected our research. Don't worry about it. Have no fear, I'm making some progress. I was able to unearth a copy of a poem that isn't too different from the run you recited for me. Seven gardens, so... Ooh. Seven gardens, so there is a secret? Seven gardens, mood is sung, poppy flowers for the fung. That's what that bird guy said. Well, it seems like it might be connected to some carvings Marnie left in the temple. What? I can't go out there myself, but I found a rubbing of them in some old manuscripts. What did the manuscripts say? They involve what I think must be a code. I can't imagine Marnie would wish to keep anything from us, except for the sake of safety. Anyhow, I think it's a simple rot, rot cipher. I just need a little time to translate it. Drop by the archive tomorrow. I should have more then. Okay. Have I mentioned, Kai? How pleasant it is to have a fresh young face about the place. Um, you're welcome. I wish I had a less peculiar way to express the sentiment. But your energy. A welcome change of perspective. Hard though it may be to believe, Nono and I were full, were young and full of energy once. I bet you got into loads of trouble. I wouldn't like to tell. Perhaps a little mischief. Oh, but we had some beautiful days. Especially gathering information for the encyclopedia. Sunny days, punting our little floating lab through the swampy uh, swamp light. Oh, okay. So they had like a little lab on a boat? Or something like that? We would spend hours cataloging. I would sketch samples and Nono would make notes about where they liked to grow. Whole seasons would pass in that happy, quiet way. Oh, so he's the one that did the sketches in the um, encyclopedia. Glorious days. Hmm. I try not to dwell on the past. But sometimes it is nice to visit, just for a short holiday. Okay. 
uh, I guess I, I want to go to the bar, but I want to, I think I need to go see Eileen. Oh, but I want to go see Jele, because I think Jele might be up. Oh, what's happening over here? This is why it pays to explore. Goodness, goodness me. Snurred. I haven't seen readings like this for a couple years now. Snurfle. Something is changing, Russell. For the life of me, I wish I could identify what's causing it. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, what are you sausages doing? Wiener. <laughs> yeah, I'm immature. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a mess. Why is it so hard to do market research in this place? He may still be sensitive about the manure leaching incident. Oh, so it was you guys responsible for that in the bathhouse. Still, he didn't have to throw the clipboard at your head. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I try. You know what I could do with right now, Medisti? What? A nice dirt bubble bath. Thanks, pal. Okay. <laughs> Random. Oh, Jelly's up, and I can get some stuff here from Jelly's little garden. Lumen hat spore. Hope you don't mind, Jelly. How are you doing? Jelly is my favorite. <laughs> Human named Kai. I'm attending to a task I have agreed to complete for the dot community. Oh, are you friends? It is a contract I do not feel comfortable with contemplating, as the variables are not wholly within my control. Bopek is my friend. I am certain of this, for he has told me that it is true. But I am unable to say the same for the dots. Um, so what, do they want some special dot conditioner or something? I am not, in fact, making a thing. They have noticed some changes to the quality of the foliage in the crown of the puppy tree. Oh. Oh, there's a mushroom in there, I think. I too have noticed uh, noted shifts in the nutrient content of the soil. I'm preparing my observations for the alpha dot. I must proceed without interruption. Okay, Jelle, I'll leave you be. Very interesting. So Dennis is noticing some changes. Jelle is noticing some changes. What is going on? Anything new in the journal? No, not yet. Pays to look around and not just do everything that's in the journal, but do other things too. So you get little tidbits like this. Anyone back here? Nope. I think now is the time to go to the lighthouse or maybe now's the time to go to the bar. I'm gonna go to the lighthouse and see that gorgeous garden again. Oh, I love the colors, love it so much. I've never been a huge, um, like never been hugely into, oh, there's a, there's a, um, I think it's a stig beetle or some kind of beetle. It's so cute. And Eileen's here. I've never been hugely into pastels, but this I love. It's kind of like darker pastels, if that makes sense. Like the grayish tones. I love it. So, do you like the garden? The garden is a delight. Why don't you go sit in it then? It's almost like it changes the sound of sitting here. Recently, I've looked out to see, uh, when I've looked out to see, it's felt like there's bleakness ahead of me and scrubland behind. But now it feels full and rich at my back. Well, glad to help. I'm sorry, I meant to invite you out here to show you how beautiful it is at sunset. Do you come here a lot? It's my favourite thinking spot. Oh, I could definitely see that, especially on calm days where there's no wind. How's Nono after his bath? You know, just himself, but cleaner. If I'm honest, he's annoying me a bit at the moment. He keeps on saying mysterious things, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I just wish he'd be straight with me, you know? Ah... Uh, Nono was always a little frustrating. Don't get me wrong, we all love him. 
He thinks he's lost the scientist thing, but you can still feel like a bug under a microscope. Uh, scope. <laughs> you should just ask him to be straight with you. I mean, I kind of did. That's what I'm going to do. With Glorp. You're going to be straight with him? He gets back tomorrow. I'm terrified, if I'm honest. He was so excited about the baby. But the baby isn't going anywhere, is it? He was away a lot, about seven or eight months ago. Oh no. Oh, love. I have to tell someone. I have to practice telling someone. Oh no. I'm sorry, you're just, you're like a fresh pair of ears. I mean, I'm here, Eileen, if you need to vent or whatever, I'm here, but I don't know. <laughs> it's okay, just say it. I don't think the baby is Grobs. I'm almost certain. Oh no. It's tongues? He's like my age, isn't he? What? Grobby decided we should live on the mainland. He was away so much, and I was lonely and confused, and Tongue was always just there to listen. I always thought of him as just a kid, you know, but then this time, one night by the fire, he put his arm around me. You know, like people say, took me in his arms. I had to read that really fast. <laughs> Suddenly, I realized this kid was not a kid. Maybe he's 18, 19. He's man sized, bigger than man sized, really. <laughs> <laughs> Is all of him because <laughs> okay, I can't. <laughs> and the things he said, they were just perfect. He must be like a young adult, like 18, 19. Like he'd been listening to me the whole time. It was just once. He understood. I think he understood. Has no one heard of protection? Like, come on, even on this island, I'm sure you can get protection from the mainland. And when I realized, well, I told him that was why we could never work, because the baby was Grobs. I don't even know if he knows how many months it takes or whatever. I mean, I'm sure he's not an idiot. I'm awful. It's awful. Ooh, that's a tough situation, but I, I don't want to judge. Let's try and ease the tension. Can you imagine I'm saying something here which is, like, the right thing to say? Huh. <laughs> okay, it is awful. But I said it. I can tell him. Both of them. You're telling Grob tomorrow? That's what I've decided. I don't know how anyone is going to react. But the truth is the important thing. Oh god, I should let you get on. I wanted to say thank you for the garden. But now, I suppose, thank you for everything. It's been so lonely. You've made me feel less alone. Wow. Oh, there's a pelican! Oh, it's so pretty! Hi! Hi, pelican friend! Oh, it's gone now. You should go and relax after all the hard work you've done today. Mew was saying she's got something planned in the bar later. Oh, there it is again! Oh, beautiful pelican! Oh, and there's a crab in the garden! Okay, that's some interesting news. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!